What was the first group of vertebrates? The first vertebrates were fishes that appeared 500 million years ago. They were agnathans, from the Greek terms a, meaning without, and nath, meaning jaw, small. Jawless fishes up to about 8 in, 20 centimeters, long and also known as ostracoderms, shell skin. Because their bodies were covered with bony plates, most notably a head shield protecting the brain. Can an organism have more than two sets of genes? Having more than two complete sets of chromosomes is known as polyploidy. In humans, it is virtually impossible to survive to adulthood as a polyploid. However, plants can often survive and even thrive as polyploids. In fact, this is a common method by which new plant species arise. What separates humans from primates? Morphologic and molecular studies suggest that our closest living relative species is the chimpanzee. Although some of the evidence is conflicting. We do know that analysis of protein structure in both chimps and humans indicates that approximately 98% of our gene sequences are functionally identical. Meaning that if the gene sequences differ it is not enough to radically change the proteins produced from them. It is also estimated that our last common ancestor with the chimp would have lived at least 5 million years ago. How are birds related to dinosaurs? Birds are essentially modified dinosaurs with feathers. Robert T. Backer, 1945, and John H. Ostrom, 1928. Did extensive research on the relationship between birds and dinosaurs in the 1970s and concluded that the bony structure of small dinosaurs was very similar to Archaeopteryx. The first animal classified as a bird, but that dinosaur fossils showed no evidence of feathers. They proposed that birds and dinosaurs evolved from the same source. Who eventually showed that plant cells were totipotent? In 1958 Frederick Campion Stewart, 1904-1993, a botanist at Cornell University, successfully regenerated an entire carrot plant from a tiny piece of phloem. Small pieces of tissue from carrots were grown in a nutrient broth. Cells that broke free from the fragments dedifferentiated meaning that they reverted to unspecialized cells. However, as these unspecialized cells grew, they divided and redifferentiated back into specialized cell types. Eventually, 
cell division and redifferentiation produced entire new plants. Each unspecialized cell from the nutrient broth expressed its genetic potential to make all the other cell types in a plant. How does the shoot develop following germination? Shoot development is classified based on whether the cotyledons seed leaves are carried above ground or remain below ground. Seed germination during which the cotyledons are carried above ground is called epigeus. The food stored in the cotyledons is digested and the products are transported to the growing parts of the young seedling. When the seedling becomes established and is no longer dependent upon the stored food in the seed for nutrition, the cotyledons gradually decrease in size, wither, and fall off. Seed germination during which the cotyledons remain underground is called hypogenous. The seedling uses the stored food from the cotyledons for growth, and then the cotyledons decompose. The cotyledons remain in the soil during the entire process. What term was originally used for DNA? DNA was originally called nuclein because it was first isolated from the nuclei of cells. In the 1860s Friedrich Miescher, 1844-1895 a Swiss biochemist working in Germany at the University of Tübingen lab of Felix Hoppe-Seeler, 1825-1895, was given the task of researching the composition of white blood cells. He found a good source of white blood cells from the used bandages that he obtained at a nearby hospital. He washed off the pus and isolated a new molecule from the cell nucleus. White blood cells have very large nuclei. He called the substance nuclein, which we now call DNA. The substance was rich in nitrogen and phosphorus and also contained carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Hoppe-Seeler checked and verified the important work of his student Miescher. What is the optimum thickness for specimens to be examined under a microscope? Biological and medical techniques require specimens of 1 to 50 micrometers. With the usual thickness being 4 to 5 micrometers for examination under a light microscope. Since an electron microscope has greater resolution, it requires thinner sections of 20 to 100 for biological specimens. Smear preparation is another standard technique used to prepare slides. What is the lifespan of a fruit fly? The length of adult life can vary considerably. Under ideal conditions an adult Drosophila melanogaster can live as long as 40 days. In crowded conditions lifespan may drop to 12 days. Under normal laboratory conditions, 
however, adults generally die after only 6 or 7 days. What is genetic imprinting? Genetic imprinting is a form of epigenetic inheritance. It is demonstrated where there is a different expression of an allele depending on the parent that transmits it. An example in humans is that of two medical syndromes, both of which result from a deletion on chromosome 15. In Prater Willi syndrome, originating from a deletion on the paternal chromosome. 15. Affected children have small hands and feet, short stature, mental retardation, and are obese. However, in Angelman syndrome, originating from a deletion on the maternal. Chromosome 15. Affected children have a large mouth and tongue, severe mental and motor retardation and a happy disposition, accompanied by excessive laughter. Who first proposed the Kingdom Protista? The German zoologist Ernst Haeckel, 1834 to 1919, first proposed the Kingdom Protista in 1866. For the newly discovered organisms that were neither plant nor animal. The term protist is derived from the Greek term protistos, meaning the very first. What are the two major types of vesicles in eukaryotic cells? Vesicles are small, intracellular membrane sacs usually formed from the Golgi apparatus. Lysosomes and microbodies are examples of vesicles found in eukaryotic cells. What scientists made important early discoveries associated with the cell? In 1665 Robert Hooke, 1635-1703, Curator of Instruments for the Royal Society of London, was the first to see a cell, initially in a section of cork, and then in bones and plants. In 1824 Henry Dutrochet, 1776-1847, proposed that animals and plants had similar cell structures. Robert Brown, 1773-1858, discovered the cell nucleus in 1831, and Matthias Schleiden. 1804 to 1881, named the nucleolus. The structure within the nucleus now known to be involved in the production of ribosomes, around that same time. Working independently, Schleiden and Theodor Schwann. 1810 to 1882, described preliminary forms of the general cell theory in 1839. The former stating that cells were the basic unit of plants and Schwann extending the idea to animals. In 1855 Robert Remack, 1815-1865, became the first to describe cell division. Shortly after Remack's discovery, Rudolf Virchow, 1821-1902,
stated that all cells come from pre-existing cells. The work of Schleiden, Schwann, and Verkov firmly established the cell theory. In 1868 Ernst Haeckel, 1834-1919, proposed that the nucleus was responsible for heredity. Chromosomes were named and observed in the nucleus of a 32 cell in 1888 by Wilhelm von Waldeinhartz, 1836-1921. Walther Fleming, 1843-1905. Was the first individual to follow chromosomes through the entire process of cell division. How does a red blood cell carry oxygen? Cells use oxygen to harvest the energy stored in molecules like sugars and fats. Red blood cells use a protein called hemoglobin to carry oxygen to all the cells of the body. Hemoglobin is actually made of four separate protein strands. Each one surrounds a central, iron-containing molecule. The hemoglobin group carries the oxygen molecule. Each molecule is made up of two atoms of oxygen bonded together. What is herbal medicine? Herbal medicine treats disease and promotes health using plant materials. For centuries herbal medicine was the primary method of administering medically active compounds. How can you avoid buying items made from endangered species? The 1975 cites, Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora Prohibits trade in endangered species Traffic, the Wildlife Trade Monitoring Network, suggests that travelers buy wisely. Although it may be legal to buy products in certain popular tourist locations. It is often illegal or may require a permit to bring these objects home. What property makes skunk cabbage unique? Skunk cabbage, Spathyma fetidis blooms while there is still snow on the ground. The root of the plant acts like a metabolic furnace, providing heat to the flowering shoot. It melts the surrounding snow as it pushes up through the frozen ground. Plant botanists have been unable to identify the cause of this phenomenon. Different theories have been proposed, with some experts believing it is a special adaptation for the cold. Weather climate and others speculating that it is an evolutionary remnant of a feature of a tropical plant. What are the two most common media to grow bacteria? Beef extract and peptones, hydrolyzed protein, are the basic ingredients of nutrient broth. 
these materials supply a variety of carbon sources. Nitrogen compounds in the form of amino acids, and a mixture of cofactors such as vitamins. The addition of agar, a complex carbohydrate extracted from seaweed, results in a solid medium. Agar is an ideal solidifying agent for microbiological media because of its melting properties and because it has no nutritive value for the vast majority of bacteria. Solid agar melts at 194 to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, 90 to 100 degrees Celsius, liquid agar solidifies at about 103 degrees Fahrenheit, 42 degrees Celsius. What happens to proteins during a hair perm? During a hair perm, the bonds that form the secondary and tertiary levels of structure in the protein keratin. The major protein of hair are chemically broken and then reformed, Hydrogen bonds are primarily involved in this process. The same principle, breaking and forming bonds, is used to make hair either very curly or very straight. What are the most important elements in living systems? The most important elements in living systems include oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, magnesium, and iron. These elements are essential to life due to their cellular function. What is myelin? Myelin forms an insulating wrapping around large nerve axons. In the peripheral nervous system myelin is formed by Schwann cells. A type of supporting cell, that wrap repeatedly around the axon. In the central nervous system myelin is formed by repeated wrappings of processes of oligodendrocytes. A different type of supporting cell. The process of each cell forms part of the myelin sheath. The space between the myelin from individual Schwann cells or oligodendrocyte. Processes is a bare region of the axon called the node of Ranvier. Nerve conduction is faster in myelinated fibers because it jumps from one node of Ranvier to the next. For this reason it is called saltatory, jumping, conduction. Who was Mendel? Gregor Mendel, 1822-1884, is the founding father of experimental genetics. His work with the garden pea, Pisum sativum, was not consistent with the 19th century ideas of inheritance. Mendel was the first to demonstrate transmission of distinct physical characteristics from generation to generation. How are pearls created?
Pearls are formed in saltwater oysters and freshwater clams. There is a curtain-like tissue called the mantle within the body of these mollusks. Certain cells on the side of the mantle toward the shell secrete nacre. Also known as mother of pearl, during a specific stage of the shell building process. A pearl is the result of an oyster's reaction to a foreign body. Such as a piece of sand or a parasite, within the oyster's shell. The oyster neutralizes the invader by secreting thin layers of nacre around the foreign body. Eventually building it into a pearl. The thin layers are alternately composed of calcium carbonate, argonite, and conchylin. Irritants intentionally placed within an oyster result in the production of what is called cultured pearls. Who was Alfred Russell Wallace? Alfred Russell Wallace, 1823-1913, was a naturalist whose work was presented with Charles Darwin's 1809-1882, at the Linnean Society of London in 1858, after extensive travels in the Amazon basin. Wallace independently came to the same conclusions as Darwin on the significance of natural selection in driving the diversification of species. Wallace also worked as a natural history specimen collector in Indonesia. Wallace, like Darwin, also read the work of Thomas Malthus, 1766-1834. During an attack of malaria in Indonesia, Wallace made the connection between the Malthusian concept of the struggle for existence and a mechanism for change within populations. From this, Wallace wrote the essay that was eventually presented with Darwin's work in 1858. Can an octopus learn? Cephalopods, squid and octopi, are unique among the invertebrates in the extent of their intelligence. Octopi can be taught, for example, to associate neutral geometric shapes with either punishment. A mild electric shock, or reward, food. This can then be used to train them to avoid one type of food and reach for another. Research has indicated that octopi are also tool users, with their flexible arms and suckers. Octopi are able to manipulate their environment, as in building a simple home. After an octopus has selected a home site, it will narrow the entrance size by moving small rocks. What was the first mammal to be successfully cloned? The first mammal cloned from adult cells was Dolly. A U born in July 1996. Dolly was born in a research facility in Scotland. Ian Wilmoot, 1944, led the team of biologists that removed a nucleus from a mammary cell of an adult U and transplanted it into an enucleated egg extracted from a second U.
electrical pulses were administered to fuse the nucleus with its new host. When the egg began to divide and develop into an embryo, it was transplanted into a surrogate mother ewe. Dolly was the genetic twin of the ewe that donated the mammary cell nucleus. On April 13, 1998, Dolly gave birth to Bonnie the product of a normal mating between Dolly and a Welsh mountain ram. This event demonstrates that Dolly was a healthy, fertile sheep, able to produce healthy offspring. How is maple syrup harvested? Maple syrup is harvested from the trunks of sugar maple trees, Acer SACC harem. Production of maple syrup requires daily temperatures to fluctuate between freezing and thawing. During cold nights, below freezing. Starch made during the previous summer and stored in wood is converted to sugar. During the day when temperatures rise above freezing, a positive pressure is created in the xylem sap wood. When tubes called spiles are driven into the sap wood, the positive pressure pushes the sugary sap out of the tree trunk at a rate of 100 to 400 drops per minute. The flow stops when temperatures drop below freezing. What is Starlink corn? Starlink is a bioengineered corn variety that was genetically modified to include a gene from the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis, Bt, which produces a protein, called an endotoxin, that kills some types of insects. Bt endotoxin has been registered as a biopesticide in the United States since 1961. And the Bt endotoxin has been used by organic farmers for biological pest control. The endotoxins only become activated in the guts of susceptible insects. Because of the significant losses to corn crops caused by the European corn borer, scientists targeted the corn plant itself as a candidate for insertion of the Bt gene. What is the heaviest invertebrate? The giant clam, Tridacna maxima, is the heaviest invertebrate. It may weigh as much as 122 pounds 270 kilograms. The shells of this bivalve may be as long as 5 feet 1.5 meters. How do animals communicate by scent? A variety of animals use scent marking to identify their territory. Some use scent marking for possessions. In Asian muntjac deer, males have scent glands on their faces that they use to mark their mates. What is a control group?
a control group is the experimental group tested without changing the variable. For example, to determine the effect of temperature on seed germination. One group of seeds may be heated to a certain temperature. The researcher will then compare the percent of seeds in this group that germinate and the time. It takes them to germinate to another group of seeds, the control group, that have not been heated. All other variables, such as light and water, will remain the same for each group. What is the SI system of measurement? French scientists as far back as the 17th and 18th centuries questioned the hodgepodge of the many illogical and imprecise standards used for measurement. And they began a crusade to make a comprehensive, logical, precise and universal measurement system called System International de Unites, or SI for short. It uses the metric system as its base. Since all the units are in multiples of 10, calculations are simplified. Today, all countries except the United States, Burma, and Liberia use this system. However, some elements within American society do use SI scientists. Exporting slash importing industries and federal agencies as of November 30th, 1992. The SI or metric system has seven fundamental standards, the meter, for length, the kilogram. For mass, the second, for time, the ampere, for electric current, the Kelvin. For temperature, the candela, for luminous intensity, and the mole, for amount of substance. In addition, two supplementary units the radian, plane angle, and steradian, solid angle. And a large number of derived units compose the current system, which is still evolving. Some derived units, which use special names, are the Hertz, Newton, Pascal, Joule, Watt, Coulomb, Volt, Farad, Ohm, Siemens, Weber, Tesla, Henry, Lumen, Lux, Becquerel, Gray, and Sievert. The C's unit of volume or capacity is the cubic decimeter, but many still use liter in its place. Very large or very small dimensions are expressed through a series of prefixes. Which increase or decrease in multiples of 10. For example, a decimeter is one tenth of a meter. A centimeter is one slash one hundred of a meter, and a millimeter is one slash one thousand of a meter. A decameter is ten meters, a hectometer is one hundred meters, and a kilometer is one thousand meters. The use of these prefixes enables the system to express these units in an orderly way and avoid inventing new names and new relationships. Is there movement among the molecules that comprise a cell membrane? A cell membrane is mainly composed of phospholipids and proteins, which are two types of bioorganic molecules. Within the membrane, phospholipids are able to move laterally. 
depending on temperature and fatty acid composition, phospholipids generally move faster than proteins. The proteins drift about slowly in a body of lipids, much like icebergs in an ocean. Proteins are able to change shape, also known as conformation. For example, carrier proteins are able to bind specific molecules, such as glucose in order to provide transportation for the molecule. Once glucose is attached to the carrier protein, the protein changes shape and ferries the glucose inside of the cell. What is a pedigree? A pedigree is a genetic history of a family, which shows the inheritance of traits through several generations. Information that can be obtained from a pedigree includes birth order, sex of children, twins, marriages, deaths, stillbirths, and pattern of inheritance of specific genetic traits. Are tortoises and terrapins the same as turtles? The terms turtle, tortoise, and terrapin are used for various members of the order Testudinas. From the Latin term testudo, meaning tortoise. In North American usage they are all correctly called turtles. The term tortoise is often used for land turtles. In British usage the term tortoise is the inclusive term. And turtle is only applied to aquatic members of the order. What are lichens? Lichens are organisms that grow on rocks, tree branches, and bare ground. They are composed of two different entities living together in a symbiotic relationship. One a population of either algal or cyanobacterial cells that are single or filamentous. And 2. Fungi. Lichens do not have roots, stems, flowers, or leaves. The fungal component of a lichen is called the mycobiont, from the Greek terms mykes, which means fungus, and bios, meaning life, and the photosynthetic component is called the photobiont. From the Greek terms photo, meaning light, and bios, meaning life. The scientific name given to the lichen is the name of the fungus and is most often an ascomycete. As the fungus has no chlorophyll, it cannot manufacture its own food, but it can absorb food from algae. Lichens and algae enjoy a symbiotic relationship. Lichens can often be found growing around and on top of algae. Providing the algae with protection from the sun, thus decreasing the loss of moisture. Fungi and algae were the first organisms recognized as having a symbiotic relationship. A unique feature of this relationship is that it is so perfectly developed and balanced that the two organisms behave as a single organism.
Why were the 1950s such an important era of DNA research? In the wake of World War II, when research was primarily driven by wartime need. Researchers returned to basic rather than applied research. The 1950s was a period of intense study as scientists attempted to understand the nature of DNA and the gene. The problem was attacked from both biochemical and structural aspects. How do substances move in and out of cells? Cells constantly transport substances across their cell membranes. Endocytosis, from the Greek endo, meaning in, and cytosis, meaning cell, is the process by which cells bring molecules into their structure. Exocytosis, from the Greek exo, meaning out, and cytosis is the process by which cells transport materials out of their structure, across their own cell membrane. There are two different types of endocytosis, pinocytosis, from the Greek pino, meaning to drink, and cytosis, and phagocytosis, from the Greek phago, meaning to eat, and cytosis. What is a pseudogene? As genes are copied and transposed, mutations may occur that make the copies non-functional. This is thought to be the origin of pseudogens, which resemble actual genes but which, while stable, do not produce a polypeptide. Can animals hear different sound frequencies than humans? The frequency of a sound is the pitch. Frequency is expressed in hertz, hertz. Sounds are classified as infrasounds, below the human range of hearing, sonic range. Within the range of human hearing, and ultrasound, above the range of human hearing. What is meant by a dominant animal? When two animals attempt to acquire the same resource simultaneously, e. g. a food item, and one consistently wins the prize, that animal is considered dominant. Evolutionary theory suggests that dominance may be a way for animals to avoid actual fighting. Since aggressive interaction may be physically costly even for the winner. What is the root cap? The root cap is a thimble-like mass of parenchyma cells that covers and protects the growing root tip as it penetrates the soil. The root cap is pushed forward as the root tip grows longer. 
The cells on the periphery of the root cap are sloughed as the root cap is pushed forward and new cells are added by the apical meristem. The root cap protects the apical meristem, aids the root as it penetrates the soil, and plays an important role in controlling the response of the root to gravity, gravitropism. What is gas chromatography? Gas chromatography, specifically gas liquid chromatography, involves a sample being vaporized and injected onto the head of the chromatographic column. The sample is transported through the column by the flow of inert, gaseous mobile phase. The column itself contains a liquid stationary phase that is adsorbed onto the surface of an inert solid. What are some diseases that affect the nervous system? Epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, and Parkinson's disease are all diseases of the nervous system. Epilepsy is a nervous system disorder in which clusters of neurons in the brain sometimes signal abnormally. In epilepsy the normal pattern of neuronal activity becomes disturbed, causing strange sensations emotions, and behavior, or sometimes convulsions, muscle spasms, and loss of consciousness. Epilepsy is a disorder with many possible causes. Anything that disturbs the normal pattern of neuron activity from illness to brain damage to abnormal brain development can lead to seizures. Epilepsy may develop because of an abnormality in brain wiring. An imbalance of nerve signaling chemicals called neurotransmitters, or some combination of these factors. Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurological disorder that results from degeneration of neurons in a region of the brain that controls movement. This degeneration creates a shortage of the brain signaling chemical, neurotransmitter, known as dopamine, causing the movement impairments that characterize the disease. What is the economic impact of fungi? Fungi produce gallic acid, which is used in photographic developers, dyes, indelible ink. As well as in the production of artificial flavoring, perfumes, chlorine, alcohols, and several acids. Fungi are also used to make plastics, toothpaste, soap, and in the silvering of mirrors. In Japan almost 500,000 metric tons of fungus fermented soybean curd, tofu and miso, are consumed annually. Different strains of the rust fungus Puccinia graminus cause billions of dollars of damage annually to food and timber crops throughout the world. Who is considered the founder of physiology? As an experimenter, Claude Bernard, 1813 to 1878. 
enriched physiology by introducing numerous new concepts into the field. The most famous of these concepts is that of the French milieu interior or internal environment. The complex functions of the various organs are closely interrelated and are all directed to maintaining the constancy of internal conditions despite external changes. All cells exist in this aqueous, blood and lymph, internal environment, which bathes the cells and provides a medium for the simple exchange of nutrients and waste material. How do you teach a parrot to talk? Teaching a parrot or cockatoo to talk involves a combination of repetition and reward. The owner or trainer reinforces proper vocalization by the bird with treats or laudatory language. How do cells secrete substances? The release of material from a cell is known as exocytosis. First the cell forms the cell product and then packages it. The package, or vesicle, is comprised of the same material that makes up the cell membrane. When the vesicle reaches the membrane, the two structures merge together much like air bubbles do in liquid. The contents of the vesicle are then expelled from the cell. For example, secretory cells that manufacture specific proteins, such as the pancreatic cells that manufacture insulin. Use the process of exocytosis to secrete insulin into the blood. Why do we die without oxygen? Most living organisms are aerobic, that is, they require oxygen to complete the total breakdown of glucose. As many as 36 ATP are produced through aerobic metabolism of one glucose molecule. Without oxygen, cells do not synthesize enough ATP to maintain a multicellular organism. Most people think that we need oxygen to breathe but actually we need oxygen to recycle. The spent electrons and hydrogen ions, H+, produced as byproducts of aerobic respiration. With these byproducts, oxygen combines and forms metabolic water. How do songbirds learn to sing? Through analysis of many bird species, ethologists have found two major types of song development. One, imitating the songs of others, particularly adults of the same species. And two, invention or improvisation of unique songs. Observations of male song sparrows, particularly during their first month of life, show that when the birds arrive at a new habitat, they memorize the songs of the males in that neighborhood. What is punctuated equilibrium?
punctuated equilibrium is a model of macroevolution first detailed in 1972 by Niles Eldridge. 1942, and Stephen J. Gould, 1941-2002. It can be considered either a rival or supplementary model to the more gradual moving model of evolution posited by Neo-Darwinism. The punctuated equilibrium model essentially asserts that most of geological history shows periods of little evolutionary change, followed by short. Geologically speaking, a few million years, periods of rapid evolutionary change. Gould and Eldridge's work has been buttressed by the discovery of the Hox genes that control embryonic development. Hox genes are found in all vertebrates and many other species as well. They control the placement of body parts in the developing embryo. Relatively minor mutations in these gene sequences could result in major body changes for species in a short period of time. Thereby giving rise to new forms of organisms and therefore new species. How can a given trait have more than two alleles? An allele is simply an alternate form of a gene. It is possible to have a number of variations for the same gene sequence, hence the term multiple alleles. In cases of multiple alleles, there is usually a dominance hierarchy or relational schematic. That demonstrates which of every possible pair of alleles will be preferentially expressed. When was the EPA created and what does it do? In 1970 President Richard M. Nixon, 1913-1994, signed an executive order that created the Environmental Protection Agency. EPA as an independent agency of the U.S. government. The creation of a federal agency. By executive order rather than by an act of the legislative branch is somewhat uncommon. The EPA was established in response to public concern about unhealthy air, polluted rivers, and groundwater. Unsafe drinking water, endangered species, and hazardous waste disposal. Responsibilities of the EPA include environmental research, monitoring, and enforcement of legislation regulating environmental activities. The EPA also manages the cleanup of toxic chemical sites as part of a program known as Superfund. What is an isotope? Atoms of an element that have different numbers of neutrons are isotopes of the same element. Isotopes of an element have the same atomic number but different mass numbers. Common examples are the isotopes of carbon, 12C and 14C. 12C has 6 protons, 6 electrons, and 6 neutrons, while 14C has 6 protons, 6 electrons, and 8 neutrons. Some isotopes are physically stable, while others, known as radioisotopes, are unstable. 
radioisotopes undergo radioactive decay, emitting both particles and energy. If the decay leads to a change in the number of protons, the atomic number changes, transforming the isotopes into a different element. Why does eating chocolate make some people feel good? Chocolate contains over 300 known chemicals, some of which can alter mood, such as caffeine. Chocolate also contains a small amount of the chemical phenylethylamine, P. A stimulant to the nervous system that makes people feel more alert and gives a sense of overall well-being. What causes the Mexican jumping bean to move? The bean moth, Carpacapa saltitans, lays its eggs in the flower or in the seed pod of the spurge. A bush known as Euphorbia sebastiana. The egg hatches inside the seed pod producing a larva or caterpillar. The jumping of the bean is caused by the active shifting of weight inside the shell as the caterpillar moves. The jumps of the bean are stimulated by sunshine or by heat from the palm of the hand. What important scientific discoveries were made using X-ray diffraction? In 1951 the protein A helix was discovered by Linus Pauling, 1901-1994. X-ray diffraction was used to reveal the double helix structure of DNA in 1953 by Maurice Wilkins. 1916, Francis Crick, 1916-2004, Rosalind Franklin, 1920-1958, and James Watson, 1928. Dorothy Mary Crowfoot Hodgkin, 1901 to 1994. Used the technique to determine the structure of vitamin B12 in 1956. What are some animals that have pouches? Marsupials, meaning pouched animals, differ from all other living mammals in their anatomical and physiological features of reproduction. Most female marsupials kangaroos, bandicoots, wombats, banded anteaters, koalas, possums, wallabies, Tasmanian devils, etc. have an abdominal pouch called a marsupium, in which their young are carried. In some small terrestrial marsupials, however, the marsupium is not a true pouch but merely a fold of skin around the mammy, milk nipples. The short gestation period in marsupials, in comparison to other similarly sized mammals, allows their young to be born in an undeveloped state. Consequently, these animals have been viewed as primitive or second-class mammals. However, some scientists now see that the reproductive process of marsupials has an advantage over that of placental mammals.
a female marsupial invests relatively few resources during the brief gestation period. More so during the lactation, nursing period, when the young are in the marsupium. If the female marsupial loses its young, it can conceive again sooner than a placental mammal in a comparable situation. Why are some strains of bacteria pathogenic and other strains not? Strains of bacteria possess genetic differences, these differences are not sufficient for them to be considered as separate species, but each strain is distinctive. For example, 98 there are many different strains of Escherichia coli, E. coli. Some such as E. coli 0157H7 cause serious diseases. While others live in the intestine and can be considered beneficial, as they aid digestion. What animal makes the longest migration? The Arctic tern, Sterna paradisia flies a round trip from the Arctic of North America and Eurasia to the Antarctic. A round trip that can total as much as 20,000 miles 32,000 kilometers. Can horses really do math? At the end of the 19th century, a performing horse in Germany known as Clever, or Kluge. Hans was able to tap out the answers to mathematical problems written on a chalkboard. Hans would use his right forefoot to indicate the single digits, 0 to 9, and his left forefoot for the tens place, 10, 20, 30, etc. His amazing performances continued for a number of years until the psychologist Oscar Pfungst. 1874-1932, was able to show that Hans was simply counting until his questioner indicated subconsciously, that Hans had reached the correct sum. Even though the horse was not actually performing calculations. His ability to observe and respond to subtle changes in human behavior is still quite noteworthy. Besides humans, which vertebrates are the most intelligent? According to the behavioral biologist Edward O. Wilson, 1929, the ten most intelligent animals are the following, 1. Chimpanzee 2. Species, 2. Gorilla, 3. Orangutan, 4. Baboon, 7. Species, including drill and mandrill 5. Gibbon 7 species, 6, monkey, many species, especially macaques, the pothas, and the celebs black ape, 7, smaller toothed whale, several species, especially killer whale, 8, dolphin, many of the approximately 80 species, 9, elephant, 2 species, 10, pig,
Which organelles contain DNA? DNA is found in nuclei, mitochondria, chloroplasts, and some centrioles. What is nanotechnology? The term nanotechnology was coined in 1974 by Norio Taniguchi, 1912-1999, at the University of Tokyo. It includes a number of technologies that deal with the miniaturization of existing technology down to the scale of a nanometer. One billionth of a meter, in size, about the size of molecules and atoms. Potential effects of nanotechnology include microcomputers capable of storing trillion of bytes of information in the size of a sugar cube, portable fluids containing nanobots that are programmed to destroy cancer cells, and airborne nanobots that are programmed to rebuild the thinning ozone layer. What are some famous figures in history with genetic disorders? One of the most common genetic connective tissue disorders is Marfan syndrome. People with Marfan syndrome are usually very tall, with skeletal malformation and loose joints. Abraham Lincoln, Paganini, and Rahmaninoff were believed to have Marfan syndrome. Because of their above average height and loose joints. People with Marfan syndrome may excel in sports such as basketball or volleyball. Olympic volleyball star Flo Hyman died of a ruptured aorta as a result of Marfan's. King George III. 1738 to 1820 of Great Britain suffered from porphyria a disorder inherited as a dominant trait that causes occasional attacks of pain and dementia do animals have color vision Most reptiles, fishes, insects, and birds appear to have a well-developed color sense. Most mammals are colorblind. Apes and monkeys have the ability to tell colors apart. Dogs and cats seem to be colorblind and only see shades of black, white, and gray. If plants contain chlorophyll, how can they be parasitic? Parasitic plants harm other plants as they obtain nutrients from them. Cancer root, Orobanch uniflora, and mistletoe, genus Phoradendron, parasitize hardwood trees and trees such as sandalwood, genus Santalum, obtain their nutrients from nearby grasses. Indian pipe, Monotropa uniflora, gets its nutrients from mycorrhizae of trees. Many parasitic plants lack chlorophyll and cannot carry out photosynthesis. And thus they depend entirely on their host for nutrients. In some cases the presence of chlorophyll does not guarantee an independent lifestyle. Mistletoe and witchweed, genus Striga, are green yet grow only as parasites. 
the green portions of these parasites contain only small amounts of certain enzymes required in photosynthesis. The link between parasites and their hosts is called a hostorium. In many plants the link is one or more xylem to xylem connections between the two plants. The parasitic plant depends largely on the evaporation of water from its leaves as a means of pulling. Nutrient containing water from the xylem of its host. The stomata of many parasitic plants always remain at least partially open. Even at night, ensuring a continuous supply of nutrients from the host. Why do animals that are round tend to show only very simple behaviors? Examples of round animals include members of the phylum Nidaria, hydras, jellyfishes, corals, and phylum Echinodermata, starfishes, sea urchins, sand dollars. An animal with radial symmetry usually has a nerve net that only allows very simple types of behavior. Animals that are round are usually sessile, i.e., non moving. This is in contrast to animals that display bilateral symmetry, in which there is a distinct head slash tail and in which the animals can be divided into different planes. Bilaterally symmetrical animals usually move in a specific direction. What is a molecule? Molecules are made of specific combinations of atoms. For example, Carbon dioxide is made of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. Water is made of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, and the atoms are joined by chemical bonds. Complex molecules such as starch may have hundreds of participating atoms linked in a specific pattern. Which mycotoxin is found in certain agricultural products and is believed to be carcinogenic to humans? The fungus Aspergillus flavus produces toxic aflatoxins. This mold is found in soil, decaying vegetation, grains, cereals. Hay, corn, peanuts, sweet potatoes, rice, and animal feed. It is believed that products contaminated with aflatoxins are carcinogenic to humans. How fast does a snail move? Many snails move at a speed of less than 3 in, 8 centimeters, per minute. This means that if a snail did not stop to rest or eat, it could travel 16 feet 4.8 meters per hour. What is the Darwin Station in the Galapagos Islands? The Charles Darwin Research Station in the Galapagos Islands is a biological field station that serves as a center for research on the flora and fauna of the islands. 
work on the station, which is located on the island of Santa Cruz, indefatigable on the British Atlas. Began in 1960, two years after the formation of the Darwin Foundation. The Darwin Foundation, UNESCO, and the Government of Ecuador were the primary contributors to the building of the station. Although many other organizations and individuals helped as well. What methods are used to estimate wildlife populations? Since it is usually impossible, and often impractical, to count all individuals in a population. Researchers use a variety of sampling techniques to estimate population densities. One method is to count the individuals in a certain area. The larger the number and size of sample plots, the more accurate the estimates. Population densities may also be estimated based on indirect indicators such as animal droppings or tracks, nests, or burrows. When was the term antibiotic first used? The term antibiotic means against life. In 1889 Paul Wheelman used the term to describe the substance pyocyanin, which he had isolated several years earlier. Pyocyanin inhibited the growth of bacteria in test tubes but was too lethal to be used in disease therapy. Antibiotics are chemical products or derivatives of certain organisms that inhibit the growth of other organisms. How did Lysenko affect genetics in the Soviet Union? Trofim Lysenko, 1889-1976, was a dominant force in biology and agriculture in the Soviet Union from 1937 to 1964. Lysenko was a follower of John Baptiste Lamarck. 1744-1829, who believed that environmental experiences could change genetic inheritance. Lysenko sought to manipulate the environment in the hopes that this would increase agricultural productivity. By the time Lysenko had fallen out of favor, Soviet agricultural productivity had, in fact, actually decreased significantly, failing to keep pace with the advances of other developed countries. <laughs> 